Without a doubt, one of the best parts of my job is the amazing people I can meet along the way. I had a chance to meet Charlie Pettigrew a number of years ago working at Walson Lake Lodge, and earlier this year, Charlie invited me on a trip to Louisiana to hunt for redfish. Redfish have been on my bucket list for quite a long time, and while I wanted to catch any redfish, I truly wanted to catch a bull redfish. A bull redfish is a redfish over 20 pounds, and we were trying to do this on the fly rod. This was the best place in the world at the best time of year, and the hunt was on for a bull red. Well, we made it to Minneapolis. That went without a hitch, but unfortunately we've been delayed now for probably about four hours. Our next uh, location is New Orleans, Louisiana. And uh, yeah, I think there's ice on the plane or something. The plane was delayed getting here, but we're gonna make it. Luckily we're not fishing today. Tomorrow's the first day of fishing. And uh, I'm just, I'm excited. I, I love ice fishing, don't get me wrong, but I'm pretty excited to switch things up, so. Here we go. Well, we're not in Canada anymore. We made it to New Orleans. It's loud here, but uh, it's a lot warmer. Very, very warm right now. I think it's like probably around plus 20. It was like plus 25 earlier today. Pretty long travel day today. A couple delays, which was too bad, but we made it. Waiting to meet up with Charlie and the rest of the gang. Put him back home. All right, good deal. Rise and shine. We made it to Woodland Plantation. This is our rig for the day. A little different than what I'm used to fishing in. You ready, Charlie? Gonna show me how it's done? I am all ready. Nice. The most important part of fly fishing for redfish is being able to see the fish. Between the falling and rising tides, ever blowing wind and cloudy skies, it is a very volatile fishery. The first two days of our trip, we were dealt with some very dirty water, but the guides were still able to find fish. The areas the guides focused on were the channels and bays as close as possible to the outer islands of the Gulf of Mexico. The gear we used for these bull reds wasn't too complicated. We're using 10 weight fly rods with six foot 30 pound fluorocarbon leaders on a floating line. For flies, we're using clouser type patterns with dumbbell eyes to get it down quickly in front of these redfish. Charlie's catching the first because he invited me on this trip. Nice. Ooh, that looks big. First fish of the trip. What do you think, Captain Best? Nice fish. It's a good one? Great, great, great job by Charles. They seem to grow the closer they get to the boat. Yeah. <laughs> when he first hit, I thought he's probably maybe upper, like eight or nine pounds. He's bigger than that. That's big. Oh, I got it. Right. Need to turn Point that head a little more towards me. Man, that's big. He wasn't getting off. All right. All right. I got, got it. You got it. There he goes. Thanks for playing, Mr. Redfish. Nice. First one. First one of the trip. All right, you're up. Oh, there's a fish. Yep, nice. We are hooked up. He charged, I thought he was like spooked almost. All right, first red fish on a fly. You're hooked up. Yeah, I thought he was, I thought he was spooking. I didn't realize he was charging it that fast. Yeah, they, when they won it. Nice fish. Yeah, that. Yeah, the 
called the leader to grab him. First redfish. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Nice. Very nicely done. Awesome. All right, cool. First redfish going back. Nice. It's Charlie's turn now. Yeah. Oh, that was a good eat. Oh, that was a good eat. That was amazing. So good. Yeah. Now I now I know I just pull it away from him. That might come on. Yeah. He he inhaled that one. This one looks quite a bit different than the other one too. Some were wet first. You're the man. There we go, number two. All right, in, in, in three minutes. There you go, Captain Best is on him. Oh, it's sizable. Oh my goodness, holy smokes. <laughs> that was pretty good. That's fine, man. <laughs> well, I just saw his back come out of the water. Yeah. Yep. Nicely done. Oh my goodness. There you go. I don't think I was high sticking it that bad. <laughs> well. There we go, I think this is number three. Charlie's hooked up. We're on him. I mean, this is so much fun safe fishing. It I is. broke my rod though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right got grab that. Yeah, we got we got more rods. Yeah. So what you cut number three? Is it three for you? Three for me, yeah. This is three or four for Charlie? This is three. Yeah, all right. Man, that's a sweet looking fish. Nice. Man, he fought a whole lot bigger than he would than he is. <laughs> Thought he was big, huh? It's a little breezy. Nice. Oh, I think he's. There's one coming in on it. See it? Yeah, you see him swimming. Oh, he's coming. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was such a bad hook. <laughs> Almost broke my wrist. This is where I break the rods typically. It just destroyed the fly. And uh, yeah, don't know what to say. Say fish in red, something that's been on my bucket list for a long time. And can finally say I crossed it off. And more yet to come. Yep, only day one. Well, 19 pounder for Charlie, nothing wrong with that. Pike strikes are pretty good, but definitely redfish kill it in a different way than, than pike do. But uh, we're heading in, day one is a wrap. So what's his name? Buddy. Buddy the alligator. Her name is actually a she. We found him. So this isn't Buddy. It's not Buddy. That's not Buddy. There's Buddy. It's gonna be tough to get in anything shallow right now because there's no water, you know? Uh, I mean, once the sun gets up, we'll have a better look. But right now, I mean, we're gonna have a couple hours, and we're really gonna have to just wait and let the sun get up and see what's going on. Right. We shall see. Camouflage. Nobody better see me. <laughs> don't move. Don't. I won't move. You won't be able to film me. I don't know. We have spotted our first fish. That was big. There you go. Whenever you think you can make a good catch. Drum. Hole that's big. Get back on. That wind is just. Wait. Oh, he turned. Got oh, him. that's big. Charlie's on. I might regret this, but. <laughs> what do you think? Is it a black drum? That's a black drum. <laughs> <laughs>
It's got a face only a mama can love. <laughs> face only a mama can love right there. Oh, that looks heavy. Yeah, this might not be that bad. Yeah, yeah. Normally they go way deep yeah. and they just you haven't beat them yet. Bam, that's a big drum. <laughs> He's just sitting in spot. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, man, that's big. Big. Man. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> wow. You gotta be 35 or so. Wow. That head. I know. That's big. You got yeah. it. <laughs> you see that dorsal? Yeah, he's just bumpering. He's so shallow. That fly was gone. He just inhaled it. There he goes. Oh, yeah, tail. Oh, I can see him pushing on the right now. Unless that's a different fish. Let it go down. Bump it a little bit. Yep. Nice. Man, you just shot it. Nicely done. Yeah, that was awesome. And a red. Like just instant. As soon as yep. I hit the water. Yeah, it was I'll grab him. Perfect. First tailing red that I've ever seen. Super cool. These fish, when the fly line's anywhere near them, they just kill it. Good start. Boom. Let's do it again. What'd you call this fly, the Mardi Gras fly? Kinda looks like it. Is that a fish right there? Or? He turned. Oh, 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 wow. That's a fish. Oh my goodness. Ugly looking butt. Look at those fins, they're wide. I'll get a picture with this guy, I think. Yeah, that's bigger than I thought. Nice. We'll take him off, he will hold it. All right, first black drum on the fly. 21 pound. 21 pounder. So cool sight fishing these, they kind of blend in with the dark bottom, but we saw the shadow and uh, he chowed it faster than I had a chance to react. All right, second new species of the trip. These fish might not be as highly regarded as redfish, but I think they're pretty fun. Yeah. They do have a special slime, I can feel that it doesn't <laughs> want to come off. It's day three, it's our final day in Louisiana. Um, I haven't really been talking to you guys too much, but we've been having a great time. Charlie caught a massive black drum yesterday, as you guys saw. I caught my first, a 20 pounder, which was still amazing on the fly. But today, conditions are setting up perfectly. We got no wind, which is kind of important. We got a bright sun, which are kind of two key factors, so. We got Captain Rich. So is it true that you've caught more redfish than uh -oh. Everyone else in Louisiana? But we got a uh, professional you do. photographer too? You do. So, so the question is, have you caught more redfish than anyone else in Louisiana? Me? In your boat. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't rub my mouth. <laughs> I don't, I don't rub my mouth. Okay. Come back with me, Charlie. Alrighty. Okay. I can go, I can go where, uh, where we were yesterday. Okay, and we can fish area we didn't fish. This water be a little cleaner today. Right. I can try that. I can shoot across to the other side where I like to fish, okay? The last day of our trip, we had the opportunity to fish with Captain Rich. Captain Rich was an ex-Marine turned fishing guide, now pulling around the flats, looking for redfish in Louisiana. He was such a character, and I cannot imagine doing what he does at 75 years old. I knew we were gonna be in for a pretty special day with him. Do you tie a lot yourself? All of them. Really? Nice. So what makes a good fly? Some of the sinks for yeah. redfish. Yeah. Those sinks will catch as big a fish as there are. Right there? Yeah. What do you call that fly? Terminator. The Terminator. <laughs> now my website got, Charlie, you've caught any big bulls on Terminator, haven't you? That's 
these big fish will eat that. And you see, when they're real spooky, put that baby on. Nice. And then I'll tell you what I got. Look at yeah. that fly. She's got that Drew Brees flirty Lee. That's cool. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, Here. I've never used one of those before. Take this. And that's your collection. Thank you, sir. Those that's spoon awesome. Charlie, spoon flies have caught more red fish than any fly. <laughs> that I can believe. Yes. I'm going to tell you, that baby right there, Jay. Yeah. That baby right there. If you're throwing in the blind, yeah. that's what, that has more vibration. The Johnson Silver Minnow's been catching fish for 150 years, yeah. right? That's awesome. Thank yep. you very much. What's the definition of a bull red? Is it a certain weight or? 20, 20 pounds or more. 20 pounds. Yeah. Some people say 10 pounds or more. No. There's one. Oh, geez. Oh, it's big. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Charlie, I'm bad luck. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm cursed. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> so, Jay, broken rod Jay Number is hooked two. up on a bull, rod, a bull red. Yeah. Oh. The good news is... You did it, Jay. That was a big one. He, he, yeah, he, got, he got the hook set, so this is going to be a challenging... This is going to be a challenging yeah. fight, but... <laughs> the key is working that drag. Those head shapes. That's a monster, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Charlie, Keep, that's a bull. Yeah, yeah you're oh. going to just... You're gonna have to re don't worry about... Uh, uh, is your is your drag? Oh. Okay. I don't think he's ready yet. No. Nope. Let him go. Go. I just don't know what's gonna happen if he wants to go under the boat. Well. Oh, that's big. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna use it to land right now. Okay. Okay. You land him on. Ooh, yes, indeedy. Yes, indeed. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? I won't touch the show like this. Okay, can you keep him coming? Okay. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> That's the one! Hey! That's it. Oh, my goodness! Charlie? Rod. 25 pound fish. Wow, that made the trip. That's it. That's it. I don't need anything else. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll let him. Oh! Got 25 and a half, almost 26. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Here, should I? Now that is a bull red. Yeah. <laughs> this is the fish <laughs> that we came for. 25 pound red on the fly. The rod broke on the hook set. Oh, Charlie, thank you so much for bringing me. You bet. This is absolutely incredible. We're gonna get a quick picture. I am just vibrating. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh, thank you, Rich. Thank you, Charlie. Oh my goodness. Oh! That's what we came for right there. Oh, yes! Oh, yeah. Thank you. Well, Charlie's up. We've been taking turns. And it seems like the best fish every day has been the first fish, right? Have you fallen off the platform? Five times. Five times? Yeah. Well, any, even the young guys fall off. Oh, I would fall off all the time. Yeah, everybody falls off. If you do it long enough, you know. What we're looking for is those dark shadows in the bottom. And are, is, are we pretty close to the to the gulf right now? Like it's just the on the... It's right on the other side of that island. Oh, so yeah. You're right. And the bigger fish are typically closer to... Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there's fish here year-round, smaller fish. Yeah. But the bigger fish, see, they come off the spawn in the gulf in the fall. They spawn at when August September? Or? Uh, yeah, they and they gang up into the uh, in the passes and everything, and then they start filtering in where we are. So Charlie's been coming. You said 13 years you've been doing this trip. 2007 was the first year. Yeah, 2007 he started doing this trip, and he's always trying to find the ideal dates. And start of December is when often there's been a couple cold fronts moving through, and that's kind of when 
you know, they want that first cold push to bring these fish in. I think that's pretty key. Otherwise, the bulls, those big 15 to 20 plus pounders are out there. Especially if you're fly fishing, you kind of, I guess you could target bulls all year if you're willing to go out on the beaches, but for sight fishing them, you want cold. Oh, that was a good hook set. You got it? You want me to grab the line? There we go. Nice. There's so many fish there, it was like bound to happen. <laughs> Charlie, get on up. Uh -huh. Another red fish. Captain Rich knows what's going on. Over here at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock inches short. See him? Uh, yeah. Shadow. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that was good. Well, I think we've matched our trip total already. Yes, indeed. Pretty close. <laughs> what a difference a day makes. Yeah, this is the right conditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a big black drum, I think. Oh, that's big. Come on. What do you think for strips? Yeah. 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 That was good. Man, I dropped it on his nose. Oh. <laughs> that was fun. That's a big, That's a big fish. That was cool. Oh. I thought that first cast should have taken Yeah. Oh, that was fun. I don't mind them. But I feel like I could probably bring him in. Yeah. All right, you ready, Rich? It's a little net for a big fish. Ah, this net will handle him. Handle your red, didn't it? Yeah. There you, you go. Handle. See, yeah, that's big. see, this net will handle anything you <laughs> catch. <laughs> that, All these... Amazing. That is a that's big. It. Look at his mouth. That's like my fist in there. Uh -huh. He gobbled that. Uh -huh. Amazing. Yeah. Here we go. 32 pound black drum. This is one of my biggest fish on the flyer. This this is insane. <laughs> Does that look good? Yeah. Big barn door. Big, <laughs> big drum. Sight fished. Like, get the humpback right there yeah, too. Yeah, that's amazing. This fish is so tall. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Look at him. Oh, look at that. Swimming again. Well done. Yep. Good job. Night, buddy. Thank you, Charlie. Okay, well done. I'm done, I'm done. After having a chance to catch my personal best black drum and redfish that morning, I knew it was time to sit back and pick up the camera. Conditions were finally perfect, and with Rich and Charlie, they put on an absolute clinic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Is that, come on. Yes! Ooh, that's a nice one. That was good. <laughs> Every day isn't like this? Not really. <laughs> What an amazing trip. Thank you so much to Charlie for bringing me along and to all the guides along the way. I can now cross this bucket list destination and species off my list. What a different world and being able to capture it was such a treat. Thank you guys for watching.